great to have Matt Tamu jump on questions. Thanks for jumping on, mate. No worries, mate. Thanks for having me. Mate, always good to see you in that Wallaby tracksuit top. So um, I'm going to throw yeah, a despite, few questions at you. Despite it being an odd colour this year, you almost can't see it. It's camo. But, uh, yeah. It's always, it's is it, always yeah, on. what's the story we're trying to... Is that Scotty Johnson's roots trying to stay camouflage <laughs> and spy around? Or I don't know what's happening there. I have no idea. I have no idea. It is um, it is odd, but it's starting to grow on me as it does. And maybe, maybe it's COVID so they can't see us if we're breaking uh, isolation rules or something. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it eventuates. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk a bit of footy, uh, mate. You're a pretty experienced player now. What's your game day routine like? You're pretty chilled on game day game day these days. Yeah, definitely changed a little bit. I eh? um, particularly with the night games. I I I, I don't like night games, so you just got to you know wait it out kind of thing. So, um, yeah, um, I kind of uh, I do all my prep the day before. I know what I'm doing during the day. Like if I you know have a little sleep or eat and stuff like that, but I try to keep it pretty normal um sometimes i might even get out for a bit of a hit of golf um hit some balls some putts and chips and stuff like that so yeah i whatever to fill in the time to be honest because um yeah it's a long old day particularly for a test match when you play like 8 eight thirty. so um yeah anything to kill the time mate uh, i think that's going to be a bit of a theme I, I snuck out to to play nine holes at clearwater in christchurch back in the days we used to stay there for the crusaders and uh walked into you and mckenzie as i walked off the ninth hole and he said to me, mate, you better play well tonight. I said, it's all right. I had a golf card for years, <laughs> mate. You're kidding yourself playing golf, but whatever makes you happy. Yeah, I'm all for that. And uh, my, I watched, you know, the, the Last Dance. Everyone was watching that on Netflix. And uh, MJ, M, it worked for MJ, so uh, maybe it's going to work for me, surely. Do you get the cigar out as well, the big stogie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not throwing bets as, uh, as heavy as him as well. Maybe just uh, a couple bucks here and there at best. Yeah. What about when we get to the change room? Which guys get really pumped up? Which guys get the change room going? Uh, Scotty Seo is probably uh, the most interesting. I don't know. Have you heard the yarn about? Have you heard about Scotty before games? People have mentioned it. Well, what's the what's the yarn? He he, he Scotty. Um, he started it. Maybe I don't know. We thought it was a. We thought he was having a laugh. Maybe about uh, six years ago. He started barking. After we do our like little, uh, you know, Brumbies or Wallabies on three or whatever, and he just started like woofing, <laughs> and we thought it was a joke, but he keeps doing it now. I don't know, it's something about it being a big dog or whatever, but it's uh, it's pretty odd. Um, but yeah, run with it. Uh, you know, you know what it's like when you get all emotional. Everyone kind of uh, you do some things that you you probably regret later, but I think he's um, definitely the most memorable. Whatever works, I suppose. I remember the great Rocky Elson would be in a shower brushing his teeth. So whatever works for people to make them play well. And uh, uh, I don't know if the, no wallabies bark and brumbies don't bark. So I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, you're right. No, no his question. I remember seeing Rocky uh, when I played with him at the end. He was he'd be asleep under his change room until until last minute and he had to go out. But yeah, everyone's got their own method, I guess. Uh, and what about away from the game? I think I know the answer. But you know, if you get away, get a day off. What's your go to? Yeah, golf for me. Um, love a love a good round of golf. Um, definitely been my my addiction in the last few years. So um, yeah, as soon as soon as we have a day off, or you know, I always try to plan it for for a way. Um, get in for a round if we can get comp round. That would be even better because uh, otherwise I just muck around and uh, yeah, score goes haywire. But uh, yeah, definitely golf in the day off. Nothing worse for your game than four ball Ambrose. So uh, what yeah, what do you got? Exactly. What do you got? Your, what do you got your handicap down to? I'm at 10.0 at the moment, so I'm not happy. I'm very close to the single figures. Um, but, uh, yeah, been a bit sloppy lately. We haven't had much time uh, since Melbourne closed the uh, closed the uh, golf courses. But uh, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be uh, down to something a bit more respectable. And were you in that Wallaby group that snuck out to Capital? How was that? Yeah, that was unbelievable. That was uh, courtesy of, of yours truly, wasn't it? That was incredible. That was that's, one of the most mate, That's days. the only reason yeah, I, I brought, the only reason I brought it up was to get some credit. No, no, I, I actually uh, <laughs> haven't played there in 15 years and I couldn't get out there that day. Oh, mate, that was, uh, you, 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 you sorted us out there. That was um, that was incredible. We had two, there was only one other group and they, they happened to be right behind us as two. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, one of the better golf courses played on for sure. But thanks so for that. Uh, I'm belated, what, a year and a half later? That's all right. I'm sure I'll need a favour at some stage. I'll mention it. Yeah, yeah. keep reminding me. <laughs> uh, so you, you think, you know, you, either your chance of joining the senior tour later on or you, if you weren't playing rugby, you'd be a golfer? Uh, if, if I could. I, I was uh, I actually really enjoyed my tennis when I was younger. I only got into golf in the last few years. Um, but 
tennis was something I really enjoyed, but I think uh, as my, my legs were probably too thick for the court. It wasn't nimble enough. Um, so, yeah, no, I always enjoyed tennis. It was probably, yeah, my, my favoured sport in terms of watching and playing when I was younger. I can see you behind the baseline just blazing away. I uh, think you'd go right at tennis. Going after it, but anyone puts a drop shot, I'll probably uh, take a little while to get going, I think, to get, get to the front of the court. <laughs> nice, just hit winners. Uh, what about getting back to rugby a bit? Unfortunately, we have to talk a bit of rugby. Um, yeah. You know, you, you've come through, mate. We've seen you develop. We've loved watching you play for many years. What's the best piece of rugby advice you've received? Uh, God, I've probably received a lot. I actually remember uh, Pat Langtree, our um, schoolboys coach, uh, just like the week or two before I went down to Brumbies. Um, obviously, you, you, you're super nervous. And back then, uh, you know, Sterling Mortlock and George Smith and all these kind of guys. And he, he just said to me, keep your head down and bum up. And he said, just work hard. Don't uh, don't try and, you know, overdo things in terms of, you know, socially. Just work down, uh, work hard, you know, pick pick the brain of, uh, you know, people you look up to. And, um, yeah, things will come. So I always, always remember that. That would have been a good 13 years ago now. Um, but yeah, head down, bum up. And, yeah, it's always, uh, I think from there, you, you probably set a good base and you can kind of do all right from there. So, yeah, always appreciated that. Well, it's certainly gotten you far. Uh, what about individually? Is there a highlight, a moment or something you've done in your game to me that's, a, you know, you've almost been pretty happy at that X Factor play you've been able to pull off for your team or, or a proud moment you've done something good? Um, probably not a single moment. Probably, there's probably two games that stick out for me. Um the Bull uh, semi-final in 2013 against the Bulls. Uh, we managed to score in the last minute or two uh, to, to go to the final. And then that, that same year, actually, we beat the British Lions um, at, with the Brumbies, that was, um, in a midweek game. Those, um, yeah, they, they, uh, they were definitely headline, I think, at the moment anyway, in my career. Those were pretty special moments and big games. Well, there's still time for some more. Um, what exactly. about growing up? You know, is there a former player or a former classic Wallaby you you liked watching coming up a bit of a hero? Yeah, as a, as a fire half, I think, um, you know, most people my age looked up to, to Bernie, um, Steve Larkham, and uh, to get coached by him was incredible. Um, and then, you know, he, yeah, I think I, I owe him a lot in terms of um, inspiration, but then even just, um, yeah, his, the work he put in uh, with a lot of us young guys uh, when we're down at the Brumbies or at the Wallabies um, coaching was, uh, was incredible. So he definitely um, probably holds that for me. And what about, say it's probably last question, say it's cheat day, right? You've just walked off the golf course, you, you shot 40 points, you know, you, you're, at, you're at six <laughs> over, you're pretty happy with yourself, yeah. you don't really want to cook. What's a, what's a luxury food, you know, you, you grab for dinner, what's your go-to there? I will cook it though. Um, corned beef or bisupo, as they say uh, in the islands. Um, corned beef with a bit of spaghetti and some uh, nice sticky rice. Um, that's that's usually if we have a Saturday game. Sunday night, I'll uh, I'll, I'll veg out and, and, and have a good old crack. Um, but yeah, bit of bit of island food. If if Dad's around, he'll he'll cook me some as well. But um, yeah, it's definitely the uh, the soul food, as they say. Yeah, that actually sounds better. My old man, when he did that, he he would get poo ass so watercress, and we get a few dough boys in there, and that's about it. We didn't definitely didn't do it on pasta. That's a good. I have to give that one a try. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> love it, mate. Love it. It's uh, it's the best. Nice, mate. Thanks for having a quick chat. Always good to see you. Um, as I said, great to see you in that Wallabies top and look forward to seeing you in a gold jersey. Awesome. Thanks, Moss. Cheers. Thanks, mate.